Hello and welcome. This video on how you can get your 5.4 project into 5.5, the latest Unreal Engine version as of mid-November 2024. And here I have Cargo Open updated to the current version, which is version 1.4.2. And right here, there is a sale going on and it is a cyber month. So there's a couple hundred dollars off of the regular price. You can get Cargo now for $3.99 a year. So go ahead and activate that or get a trial using the new Secrets of the Luminara kit, which is a very cool kit. You can view it here on the website. Sorry, you can view it on the Cargo plugin here and check out all the models. You have Cargo, you have it up to date, you're logged in and you're ready to add some assets to your project. So I have inside the launcher a 5.4.4 engine and a 5.5.0 engine. And I have a handful of cargo projects across various engines. So let's open up my cargo 5.4 version and check it out. I have a project in Unreal Engine 5.4 with a bunch of cargo assets in here. The cargo plugin is not active because it's not in color. It looks grayed out, but I do have it activated uh, within my plugins. Type in cargo. There it is. It's inactivated. Make sure that it's activated for you when you go to use the plugin before you then turn on this by connecting to Cargo. And now I'm going to verify by going into Cargo. And since we have the Luminari kit, let's grab a cargo plane. Okay. Um, PNG 1.3 gigs, 1K PNG. A 1K JPEG is 32 megs. I'm going to take that because I am cheap when it comes to space and time. And there we have it. We have imported our Luminara plane, a 1K JPEG, and we're ready to fly on an adventure. <laughs> okay, so let's delete this. I don't care about this. In this level, I'm going to open up a blank new level file, new level basic, create, don't save this. And we're going to go to our content drawer, our actors, and we have the vehicle. Let's bring it in, the plane. And I think I have some other vehicles in here. The uh, flatbed truck, it looks like I have. I was testing with that a while ago. And what else do I have in here? Small building. Let's bring in a small building here. Okay, so next up, we're in Cargo 5.4, version 5.4 for Unreal Engine. Heading back inside of the Epic Launcher. First off, you're going to need to make sure that you have 5.5 downloaded. If you don't, hit the plus sign on the engine and you are going to see I have the next newest engine version. In my case, it's 5.3.2. If you don't have 5.5, that will be popped up right here. Now, this is the project that I'm currently in. I can right click and clone it to make a copy. I'm making a duplicate of my current project. You don't have to do this. This step is optional, but I do advise it if you want to have a backup in your engine 5.4 version and then also be working in an engine 5.5 version. Now that I've cloned that project and renamed it Cargo 5.5, I'm going to right click, switch engine version, and I'm going to change this into 5.5. And now when I go to open up my project, it is going to be inside Unreal Engine 5.5. You will have this missing plugin error. Cargo plugin could not be found. Do you want to disable it and continue? Yes. And that's because Cargo is not implemented for this current engine version at the time of this recording. We have successfully changed our project from Unreal Engine 5.4 to Unreal Engine 5.5. However, we no longer have access to the cargo plugin. This may present to be a problem. Should you want to add more assets from cargo into your project? Well, we're going to go back into cargo 54 and we're going to open up cargo. And I've decided that I'm going to go into another kit, not just the Luminara kit. I'm going to discover what do I want to use here? Japanese neighborhoods. Let's pop in and grab this little traditional restaurant. I'm downloading it. It's 114 megs and this is real time. I'm not fast forwarding, so it's working pretty quickly. I do have a decent internet connection that helps considerably. Now let's import it. Now we have the new Japanese neighborhood traditional restaurant 
inside of this Cargo 54 project. However, I do not have it inside of my new Cargo 55 project. I do, however, have all those other assets like the flatbread truck and the plane. And I do not have, uh, I do not have the traditional restaurant. And if I go to plugins, type in cargo, it's not here. So it's not quite ready yet, but it will be. Now, here's another problem that you might encounter. All of your textures are broken. What's happened? Well, the problem actually lies within, if I open up one of these blueprints, we've got the vehicle here, and I'm going to open up one of these materials. In instance, you can see I still have the base color, and I still have the emissive map, and I have the normal map. And what's going on? Well, the problem lies in we have a broken uh, master material. So we'll go into our kit mass master, and you'll see here, hey, the node texture requires a valid texture, or the base parameter so these are actually broken here, these base color textures. And if we browse to this, you'll see these are what are meant to be plugged in here, and for some reason are not. So we're going to have to do that ourselves and make sure that those are properly set up. So we put it in the black into the base color. No, we don't. That's for the master emissive. So go to the emissive and put that in there. And we'll browse to that, and then we'll find the... Uh, master ARM, put that inside the master ARM. We'll do the same thing for the base color, BC, and the normal map as well as down here. We'll put the normal map in there. And then we will save and apply that. And now we have fixed some of it, not all of it, because we have a few different master materials. So we go back inside here. We also have the masked master and it's going to have a few broken parameters as well the emissive and the opacity and the normal now i've updated those master material placeholder textures which then fixed all those masters therefore fixing all of the material instances and now everything looks just as it did inside of unreal engine 5.4 However, I still am missing that other asset that I wanted. So I'm going to go back inside of 5.4 and find that asset. And I'm going to hit Control-B, browse to it here. Now I'm going to right-click on this, Asset Actions, Migrate. And I'm not going to save the level. Don't save. And I'm going to migrate the actor and the geometry. I'm going to minimize that. It's a lot of geometry and the materials. The masters, we're not going to override the masters. We're going to use the masters that are in the other project. And we are going to use the material instances and the textures. So I'm going to hit OK. Then we're going to go find that Cargo 55 project, which is right here, in the, in the content, and hit Select Folder. And there we go. Are we going to override the master? Apply to all? No. I just fixed them all. Please don't override them, because it could break them again. I'll have to fix them again. Unfortunately, that is a little bit of an issue when you are cloning and then you need to change engine versions. You may need to relink the master material textures. Now let's go back into engine 55 and check in our actors. Let's drag in that new building and see how it looks. Does it look just like it did in the other engine? Yes, it does. So that is how we can easily migrate an individual asset over to the engine. The last thing I'm going to show you really quick here is let's save this terrible level. And I'm going to hit File, Save Current Level As. We'll make a new folder. We'll call it Maps. Just leaving it at Demo Level. And now let's say I only want to migrate this level and everything inside this level. We'll browse to the level, right click, and we're going to go Asset Action. Migrate. We have all the actors and the geometry and the material and textures in demo level and hit OK. We're going to go to Cargo 55 content and also select folder. And it's going to say, do you want to override all these actors? I already made this switch. I don't need to override them. But if this is the first time you're bringing this into the engine, you're not going to have this error. So apply to all. No, I don't want to override. I already have them in there. So let's just migrate, and it's really just going to migrate the level and the positional data of each of the actors, so it should be quick.
and I can go into my updated project. We have a demo level right there. I'm not going to save this demo. And there it is. We have our exact level in the newest engine version. I hope you found this video helpful on your journey into building worlds inside Unreal Engine.